Have you ever made a card that you loved so much you just couldn't wait to show your friends? Well, that's how I feel about a card I designed for you with the new Stampin' Up! Watercolor Wings stamp set. Come on, Stampin' Friend, let me show you my card and how I made it. Watercolor Wings is my favorite new stamp set from the 2015-2016 Stampin' Up! catalog. I know, it's hard to pick a favorite, but this is my favorite because first, it's butterflies. Everybody loves butterflies. And look, it has three steps. So we can stamp it in three colors, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And then the icing on the cake, well, they have coordinating framelits, the bold butterfly framelit, so we can die cut it instead of hand cutting it. Fabulous! Oh, oh, and wait, it's a bundle. <laughs> when you purchase the two together as a bundle, you save 15%. Okay, gorgeous butterflies that are watercolored, coordinating framelits, and savings. Can you see why it's my favorite? So let's go ahead and get stamping. I have here the new 2015-2017 Mint Macaron in color. Isn't this beautiful? You know, normally by now we would have all bought the new in color um, color coach cards to add to it, but Stampin' Up! discontinued that. So uh, I had to put together my own color combination and you're gonna love it. It's fabulous. So Mint Macaron first. I'm going to do um, the boldest stamp in the lightest color because this all the other colors will build on here Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles and for 14 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I didn't mess up. It's because it's not because I didn't ink it well it's designed like that to be fading in and out because it's to look watercolored. Okay, so I'm going to need this block again, so I'm going to carefully peel that off. Add, here's the outside of the wings. And look, we're going to use Garden Green. Can't wait for you to see how well these pair up together. And because it's a photopolymer stamp set, I don't need a stamp positioner. I can see right through them. Okay. So we'll see how well I do, because normally I'd have my head right over it, but I don't think you want to see the back of my head. <laughs> so, oh, this is looking pretty good. How do we think? Okay, let's go for it. Oh, aren't those just absolutely gorgeous together? And now for the third color, Island Indigo. So with the stamp pads, push, flip, lock that into place. And now we're going to add the beautiful, beautiful detail of the center and a little bit more along the outside. So, looking, looking, thinking we're looking pretty good. Isn't that a beautiful color combination? Okay, you know what's cool about this stamp set? It also has bodies for the butterflies. I'm going to do the body after die cutting it. So we have here the coordinating framelit, and this needs to go into the big shot to be die cut. And by the magic of TV, <laughs> I have one done. Why I'm going to do the body afterwards is when I'm stamping the body, I just don't have, I, I'm just not getting it exactly where I want it. I tend to get a little bit high, and it looks fine stamped on paper, but if you're die cutting it, you want the whole body in there. And so um, I'm going to do the body in Island Indigo 2. And it's photopolymer, and I should get it right in the center, right? I don't know what my issue is, but I haven't been doing the best job. So I have a fix. I'm just going to leave the framelit around it, ink this up, and island indigo, and then use the framelit as my guide. Because I can feel it before I put it down. Here we go. Much, much better. Isn't that beautiful? Love this. All right, and so then I have here, this is the 2015-2017 In Color Paper Stack, beautiful patterns. We've got diagonal stripes on this side, and on this one, the flowers, I thought, oh, won't that be pretty on here? But I wasn't done. I thought, this needs a little something. So here's what I did. I got out this stamp set, or the stamp, from the Dotty Angle stamp set. Nice, nice, nice. So again, with my Island Indigo, I still have it open. Let's go ahead and ink this. Now we'll close it. Pull, 
there you go and I don't want them I want to make sure they go all the way to the bottom I don't want them you know floating I guess from I want to make sure I get that whole bottom I hope I'm making sense so let's look for the best angle that we want for filling these in I'm liking that coming off the edge of the bottom a little bit oh very sharp Island Indigo isn't this pretty and so now isn't that nice so I've got to show you my finished card Here's my finished watercolor wings card. You can see why I'm so excited to show it to you. So let me tell you what I've done. I've added our beautiful three color butterfly to the circle with Stampin' Dimensionals. What I forgot to tell you is that I die cut it with the Circle Collections framelits in my Big Shot. And then behind that circle I have Island Indigo cardstock that I softened two of the corners with the Project Life Corner Punch. And then for another soft touch, oh, look at that. Can you see that? Well, that's the new beautiful mint macaron dotted lace trim. Gorgeous. And talking about gorgeous, look at this butterfly. He's a three-step butterfly also included in the watercolor wing stamp set. So I stamped it in the three same three colors and then die cut it with a coordinating framelit. Love that lacy look. And then this little guy, well, he's all on his own. And so I stamped him with Island Indigo on the Whisper White cardstock. And then the Just For You, that's also included in this stamp set. And what I did, my Whisper White cardstock is 7 8 inch wide. And so I took my 1 inch square punch and lined that up in the corner and punched to make my own quick little banner. And then for our little something something inside, I stamped that little butterfly with Island Indigo ink again. And then finishing off our three color combination is a piece of garden green cardstock. You know, I don't know about you, but I was so missing the addition I expected to add to my color coach with the 2015-2017 in colors. And so after putting together this beautiful color combination, I just kept going. I put together five three color combinations for each of the five 2015-17 in colors. That includes the Mint Macaron and Cucumber Crush and Delightful Dijon and Watermelon Wonder and Tip Top Taupe for a total of 25 color combinations. <laughs> it's a lot of color. And so what I did was, and then I printed them all off, and this is a sample. This was with Blackberry Bliss, so not one of the 25 color combinations. And I use the Elegant Butterfly Punch to punch out cardstock. You could stamp the, the colors if you liked. So punch them out of cardstock of your, you know, your favorite shape, generous size, or stamp them and then you'll have them at your fingertips. And what I'm doing is I'm giving away my 25 color combinations for free with any $60 purchase in my online store through June 30th, 2015. So get on over to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com to place your $60 or more order with me. And then after you place your order, I will email you the, the um, five sheets that you can print and then fill as you like with either stamping or cardstock. So get on over now to my online store www.shopwithshelly.com to place your order. Remember my offer of these for free is through June 30th, 2015. I'm Shelly Godby teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.